I'm often asked why I trust Reiki so much. And the answer really is quite simple. I trust it because I have the experience. When I started learning Reiki, I can't say I didn't really believe in it, <laughs> but I certainly didn't believe that it would do something for me or that I could actually use it in my life. And I didn't even kind of want to use it because I didn't really feel I needed a complementary therapy. But in a way, Reiki proved itself by giving me the experience that it's much more than a complementary therapy. It is a connection to higher vibrations in the universe, to vibrations that can kind of overrun what's going on here and that can change the course of life our bodies and um, the difficulties we often go through. The first thing that just kind of pretty mesmerized me was that I could actually feel something. So that for me was the first proof. I could feel something in my hands and I did not believe I would ever be able to. So the fact that five or ten minutes or so after my first attunement or initiation to Reiki, it was getting warm and I placed my hands on different parts on my body and wherever I placed them it was getting warm immediately and whenever I took them away it was getting cool again so it was not the body heat, it was something else that really convinced me that something was going on. And then I started using it on myself when I cut myself and it healed much more quickly. In fact I used to have some kind of uh, condition where whenever I had a very small cut, it got inflamed straight away. And when I gave it Reiki, it pretty much healed within a day or so. Then I started using it on other people when they had headaches or other physical problems and uh, they always feedbacked that it helped them and that it got better. I even used it on things like my dishwasher <laughs> when it stopped working. <laughs> I, I really didn't quite believe that this would, would work at all, but the Reiki teacher said he does it. He uses it on his printer and all sorts of things. So I thought, well, my dishwasher just stopped working, so I gave it to the dishwasher and uh, lo and behold, it did start working again. Um, so these were all sorts of practical experiences and over time I built trust. Um, what also kind of gave me trust was that when I used Reiki, I felt something different, something that I still struggle to explain. It was being connected to something else, something not quite to do with my body or the bodily three-dimensional realm, but something higher. The fact that I could see colors with my eyes closed or had this experience of floating or of peace or of a deep inner connection is something that uh, can probably be best termed up as spiritual but again it was very experiential. It wasn't that I created or made up because I really didn't believe that anything like that could possibly happen to a down-to-earth person as me. It, it was just there. But what really, really was the final breakthrough was about a year after I learned Reiki. I had this moment of just sitting down and thinking of my life and realized that my life had got better recently. I had been going through a really, really rough time. I uh, lost my business, I had a bankruptcy. In fact, it was so difficult that um, uh, I even lost my home and I couldn't rent a place anymore. So I was basically homeless had it not been for friends where I could uh, stay for a few months in their guest bedroom. Um, for two years or so, I uh, really struggled getting food on my plate and just nothing worked out in my life up to a point where I was in such despair that I was on the brink of ending my life. In fact, I really thought about it and I even discussed how to do that. 
Um, in the end, I didn't uh, go through with that. And then, a while later, Reiki came. It was still a very, very difficult time and I really struggled to pay for the course. But the big breakthrough came a while later. About half a year or so after I learned Reiki, I was uh, looking back and I realized that life had actually gotten a bit better. Quite a bit. I was able to have my car repaired, uh, I moved to a bigger place, I could pay the rental arrears and afford the new rent and life was basically on the up. I was getting more work in on a regular basis. And I look back when that all started. And interestingly, it did not start with my Reiki course. It started with mums half a year before. She really wanted to learn Reiki. She had read about it in a book and somehow managed to uh, get the money together. We were going through this difficult phase basically together. And um, I still remember that she was so apologetic that she couldn't help me that weekend because she went on this Reiki course. It started on a Friday. And that very Friday I had been offered a new job. And I did um, something very practical. I, I uh, um, refurbished a small apartment in London. And a year later I looked back and suddenly realized that was when it all started to get better. This was when more money came in. After that job I had more offers and uh, things were coming in uh, on a regular basis. And I suddenly realized it was the very day that Mum started with Reiki. By that time I still didn't completely understand how the two things could possibly be related, but over time it emerged that they very clearly were. It's nothing but energy theory. Everything is connected. So if something changes, everything else is affected. And if something changes so powerfully, as to when Reiki comes into our lives and raises our vibrations, everything else that is connected to our life can change as well. Reiki can change circumstances. For me that was the ultimate proof that there is something about Reiki I can trust. And years later I started doing the tests with tap water in Switzerland, filling different bottles with tap water, giving Reiki to some and uh, having that tested in a laboratory and that gave the very, very clear scientific proof as well. It even changes water. Everything is energy. Everything, everything can change. And this is why I completely trust the power of Reiki. If you have already learned Reiki, I would like to challenge you to a little exercise. Just take a moment, close your eyes and remember one or a few times in your life when Reiki helped you. Whether it was something physical, whether it was to get a new intuitive idea, whether you felt your life was changing in a different direction, I'm sure there will have been many experiences. The fast living everyday life tends to kind of take us away from all these things. But to remember it again gives us more trust in Reiki. And if you haven't learned Reiki as yet, I hope that this and the many other videos and inspirations are enough to prompt you to learn it. It is incredible. It really is life-changing.